computer. Hey, Jody. Oh, hey, Kristen. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Great. Well, happy belated New Year. <laughs> yes. God, it feels like it, it's been a year already since the New Year. We've had families with all kinds of stuff going on, but luckily it's behind us. Everybody who should have COVID has had COVID, not me, but you know, it's just one of those things. Yes. That's awesome. So how about you? Yeah. I kind of rolled into the new year, like with creating like a vengeance. I was sick too. Like I didn't have COVID, but I was sick and we just been, um, hitting the ground running. As soon as I started feeling better, we, I've done, I'm doing some online classes and I just did my first trip to teach and, I'm excited to get this year going with a lot of fun stuff planned ahead, including coming to your shop. I know you're going to wrap up our year at Ephemera Paducah. You're coming the first weekend in November. Mm -hmm. um, and it is all about abstract painting. But for those of you who just opened this up and you're like, who are these people? My name is Kristen Williams and I am the owner of Ephemera Paducah. These are some of our t-shirts. Um, an art and craft workshop space in Paducah, Kentucky. And Paducah is located about two hours from Nashville, Tennessee, about two and a half hours from St. Louis. So we're on the western end of the state in Kentucky. And Jody, you've taught here three times, four times, three times. I think this is going to be my fourth time. Yeah. It'll be your fourth time. So you've really done some wonderful things here. So tell us what you're going to be doing in November. Well, we're going to still be working on abstract painting and, and in your um, venue, we've done work on UPO paper. We've done it on canvas. We've done large, we've done um, cold wax. Oh, yeah. This year, <laughs> yeah, this year we're going to be doing um, a little bit um, different. We're going to be adding a collage component, component, which kind of, like, you know, I think it's so much fun to make papers and create design um, elements to add into your work. And it, to me, that's one of the most fun processes. And yeah. so the trick, and I really love collage work because it really helps students kind of take control of the design and you, um, you just kind of, you make, I mean, we're like this, the work that has come out of my classes before has just been incredible. And I yeah. think it's because you really take ownership of the papers that you're creating and you have, you know, the design elements really start to come together once you see all the different components and colors and shapes. And so we're going to be spending at least a day making papers and then the next day or so we'll be doing um, putting all those papers together in, in a wonderful collection of abstract paintings, both on paper and on, on wood. How exciting. Yeah. And you've been doing that. How long have you been teaching and doing this? Uh, well, I've been teaching since 2009. So mm -hmm. quite a while. Um, well now, yeah. Yeah. And, and that was when I was still working at the bank. Um, I was a bank manager for a while. And then I went off on my own in 2011. So this is going, you know, by the time I get to your studio, it'll be my 11th year in um, working for myself. So yeah. And I got, you know, I just started working, teaching locally at some small shops. And then, you know, as my credibility and my skills kind of, you know, grew, I started we're doing large retreats, small retreats at boutiques. And now I pretty much con concentrate on 15 to 20 people per class. And I like to do weekend workshops because, you know, there's so much to learn. It's hard to do in just one day. Oh, or just no. One day. no, you're just scratching the surface. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, like I need that like first that. half a day just to kind of get back in the groove and what am I doing? And yeah. No. And I know while I do a lot of online classes, I just love the, um, when you, there's no, um, denying the energy that's in the room, the right. camaraderie that you get with working with like, you know, like-minded students. And I just, I just enjoy it so much. And your, your studio is definitely one of my favorites to come to, come to. Oh, not to mention your shop is so much fun to kind of browse through. <laughs> I always find some treasures. Yeah. And you're definitely the hostess of the Moses. So. Oh, thank you. If, if somebody hasn't been to Paducah, it's a great little artsy town and it has great food and drinks and um, just the most wonderful people. So, uh, not, not to mention just your shop. It's just like the whole community seems to be really, um, focused on the arts and creative fields. So yeah, it is a cool little, I do love bringing people here. I, the, the word that I hear the most people are surprised the first time they come here. Cause they don't realize the, we're a tiny little town. We have 25,000 people in Paducah, McCracken County is about 60,000, mm -hmm. but the, you know, the arts and food and the bourbon, I think we enjoyed while you were here. Yes. 
it was all good. Yes. Yeah. So it just, it's a great place to kind of get your creative energy on. And, um, I'm excited to end the year with, um, with your store and, um, with all the people from Paducah and, around the country. Really. We've had people come yeah. from all over the place. Oh, people come from all over and you're, you usually drive in, you're in North Carolina, Aberdeen. Is that right? Yes. I live near, for those of who um, know a little bit about North Carolina, I'm about an hour South of Raleigh and maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So it's near Pinehurst. If you have any golfers in the, Oh, there you go. Uh, yes. Okay. So, but it's about the center of the state. So yeah. it's about a 14 hour drive. So I just break it up and I could probably do it in one day, but I like to break it up into two days, yeah. drive to yeah. Nashville. And then it's a quick, easy drive the next morning. Um, like two, three hours, like you said, yeah. depending on traffic. Well, and for those of you who have not taken a class with Jody, one of the most brilliant things she does and the reason she has to drive, and I'm surprised she doesn't have to rent a U-Haul because of all the supplies you bring. And it's so nice because with some of these classes, you know, cold wax, like last year, that's an expensive proposition. If you don't know if you want to get into cold wax, you really ought to take a class from Jody first because you're going to try it before you invest in the oil paints and the paint sticks and the, and the stuff that works with that. And the, um, you know, same with, you know, this kind of large scale collage, this is a great way to try it and see if it's your thing. And um, I love that you do that because, you know, when people I've had early on, I had supply lists that were three feet long and these poor folks, you know, dragging all this stuff in, you do the dragging in and people don't have to do so much of that, which is lovely. I like that concept of being able to, I mean, um, you know, it's investment for people to come to these classes and it's nice to kind of test, try before you buy. Yeah. Now, you know, of course there's you know, a lot of the people that do come do have a lot of plenty of, oh, yeah. like you said, if it's something new that you're doing, it's a good way to just kind of t- um, get a taster. Cause I do try to bring a lot of specialty products and, you know, share the cost. Like instead of you buying a $32 bottle, $32 bottle of matte medium or gel medium, like I'll buy the gallon and we yeah. kind of share it, you know? So, so it definitely saves a lot of money for the students and I have all the toys. So, <laughs> yes, you do. You know, so that's, I mean, I love like the first, first day we'll be playing and we'll, I mean, I have so many really cool techniques on that. Um, you may never heard of, so Ooh, yay. things and, um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. And thank you for saying that, you know, it, even for me, like, I know, like if I saw a supply list, like if I were to do a jewelry class, for instance, oh, yeah. which I have nothing of, yeah. I mean, it could be an easy thousand dollar investment for just a oh, yeah. hundred so dollars at least. That. Yeah. So no, this is a nice way to do that. And I appreciate that you do that. Cause I love the, the, the concept behind ephemera Paducah is pretty much a concierge, um, workshop experience. We bring in lunch for you. We have a store here. So if there's something you try that you do want to purchase, you're able to purchase that with a discount since you're here for a workshop. Um, we'll arrange a group dinner one night so that everybody, you know, if you're traveling by yourself, it's no worries. You're going to go and you're going to get to know people. Um, you don't have to leave the building to go find a crappy sandwich somewhere. We know we have people who bring in really good food and you're going to sit out on our patio and enjoy that and make new friends, new art friends. So that's what we try to do. So Jody's style of teaching works really well here as well. Plus she's just a fabulous teacher. I remember we did the large scale. Um, I was very excited. I think I'm the one that said, let's do something big. And so she brought in, what is it? It's three foot by three foot canvases that people worked on and everybody who left that class was in love with what they did. And I know, um, Valerie down in Memphis was so excited. I think it was Valerie. It was either Valerie or Melody. I forget. I think it was Valerie was in a drive through picking up something from Starbucks and she had her painting in the back seat and the barista went, oh my God, where'd you find that painting? That's gorgeous. And she's like, I did it, you know? So it was great. Yeah. I love, I love hearing stories like that. That's when the students yeah. kind of make a breakthrough and they're like, love what they do. And you no, know, abstracts are hard. And it's like, you know, you can definitely learn on your own by doing, but it's nice to kind of have somebody shorten that learn, learning span by, you know, c- coming with, coming to class and instructing the students with all my tricks of the trade. And, you know, and we learn a lot from each other, honestly. So, and I'm so happy to. Yeah. And I, it's funny that COVID has really influenced um, teaching and, and in-person classes and it's without fail. I'll send out my newsletter and I'll get an email back going, well, why don't you just zoom these? I'm like, well, because it's a very different experience 
being able to show up every day for three days with people in the room and a teacher who knows what she's doing. And, and I think you learn very differently in person and I'm not a good, I tried to get a degree online. I I have the attention span of a gnat. I (laughs) I have a very hard time um, with online classes. So I prefer the in-person and we're safe. We, we follow whatever the CDC and state guidelines are at the time. And um, my teachers are safe. And so we, we try to, you know, we're getting through this and we're going to, we're going to do it. So, yeah. I mean, like, thank goodness for Zoom and online portals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keep us connected. But the thing is that, like you said, you just don't, you can't replace that in-person experience. And, you know, whereas you're taking a Zoom class and the teacher might not be able to see your work that good, you know, yeah. or, or like see what you're doing. If you need some help, you get that. Like I try to walk around several well, times. And you do that. Yeah. You do both. Sure. Yeah. I shouldn't say that, but I, for personally me and I've invested in a building, you know, it's like, yeah, there's so another was, option for teaching. Yeah. Yeah. But what I, yeah. What, what I was saying is like, I'm so glad now that we can get back into somewhat normal, not, not the times are not normal, definitely yet, but they're getting there. Yeah, to be happy, you know, to have that in-person experience again has been like, oh, like I miss this so much. <laughs> exactly, really, really great. <laughs> that fun when you were here this year. Well, um, so go to my website, ephemerapaduka.com. Jody's class is the last weekend in November, and there's some great photos. Oh yeah, here let's show some. Oh yeah, here's some. I had a couple. I have some. Yeah. I just got back from Texas, so I have a lot of stuff still packed away, but here's one really cool, colorful um, collage, and here's a bigger one I had. And Oh, fun. I love that. Yeah. Of course, you can see I love mark making and all the grittiness, and, you know, there's there's some, like, this one doesn't have the texture um, techniques that we're going to be doing in it, but there's a lot of different different ways we can you know use what we're going to learn and how to apply it to your your composition that's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> cannot wait well we are to the flash round jody okay. this is the flash round everyone's a little appreh- apprehensive about this um so i'm going to ask you five questions i've asked every instructor this year are you ready i'm ready <laughs> all right ready. when you were a child did you have an imaginary friend Oh my God. Yes, I did. I had two. <laughs> you did? What were there? Okay. Tell us about them. I don't know where I came up with these names, but my mom, when I mean, she's alive, she used to tell me about like story, like I would feed them food underneath the table <laughs> and they're twins and their name were Jibby and Jerky. <laughs> and so my mom would be like, who are you talking to? I'm like, Jibby and Jerky. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with those names, but yes, I did have two imaginary friends. <laughs> two, two. You were extra special. Um, what was your first paying job? Mm. Uh, my first paying job that I remember, um, I worked as at Ponderosa as a salad bar girl. Wow. So you had to like refresh the devil, the, the chopped up eggs and the bacon bits and all that. I did move up to breakfast cook down the road. <laughs> Oh yeah. Pretty special. (laughs) And how old were you as the salad bar girl? I was 16. I worked there for several years and yeah, (laughs) I went to college and I came back and like, that's when they started letting me do the breakfast cook and different things. When I don't don't know how the the, the first year that I came back from college, um, that summer is when they did put me on the breakfast shift. Uh I have no idea how I got up. A lot of times I come home at four o'clock in the morning from going out, you know, you're just Turn oh, 21 yeah. And oh yeah. No, we oh, had work at five <laughs> superpowers those days. I, oh, I could sleep for three hours. I'll be fine. Yeah. No, uh-uh, no, we would be dead. Yes. All right. Um, who is your celebrity crush? Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? I can't even think of the, the guy's name. Well, okay. Here's one of them. I love Matthew McConaughey. <gasps> All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I like that. I actually read his book um, or listened to it, um, Green Lights, and it's really it good. Must be really good. Yeah, yeah. And his voice is just like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, where did you, you grow up in Jerk? Where'd you grow up? Um, New York. New um, York. Oh, between Buffalo and Erie, so upper upstate New York. Upstate New York. So the okay, that that draw you like. Like that. All right. Part. 
So <laughs> what is um, what is your most hated art supply? The thing you just can't stand if there uh, is something. Golly, I haven't met too many art supplies. I don't. Know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I haven't tried a lot in resin and I don't know that I hate um, it. I just yeah. It Cause I really don't like, I kind of, it's intriguing to me, but at the same time, I don't like glossy look. And so I well, guess I don't like anything with gloss. With so gloss. maybe that's me. Okay. And then what is your current most loved art supply? Um, well, I would say there's two. I don't, do I have it here? Um, I love the catalyst wedge. Uh huh. Let me grab it. So in case you guys haven't seen it, I know you can probably can get some in the store. Um, oh, here it is. Are you going for your oh, oh. Like, my applicator? Those are two going to grab a Jerry's pencil. Oh, I love the I love one. that too. Like that's why like I'm kind of hard to choose, but your favorite style. The catalyst <laughs> wedge and the fine line applicator. Well, those are two good ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that wasn't so bad. Yeah, I didn't, no, you know. That was not <laughs> <laughs> the first well, job story kind of you know i don't know <laughs> <laughs> no thank i i dipped corn dogs at a booth at the tva and i fair that was my first paying gig oh, oh, yeah yeah that. not good parenting but yeah go work at the fair you're 14 yeah mm -mm, no okay. anyway <laughs> yeah, so. all right well jody all oh, i'm so excited that you're coming back we'll see you in november um, it'll be really pretty weather, um, nice fall drive over here to Paducah, Kentucky. And, um, I can't wait. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, and goodbye, everybody. Thank you for listening and looking forward to seeing you there. Then. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.